On the previous slide, we have talked about weathering, which is the breaking down of materials. Now we're going to talk about the movement of these materials. So let's take a look at our first demonstration. Well, previously I asked you to think about what would happen if the water continues to fall on the sugar cubes or our rocks over a long period of time. If you guessed that these rocks would break down into smaller pieces of rocks and become part of the sand, you would be correct. The sugar cubes or the rocks broke down into smaller pieces of rocks and mixed with the existing sand in our imaginary beach to form more sand. For our next demonstration, I already have some sand here to demonstrate our beach. And I'm going to move our sand from our previous demonstration onto our beach. So let's see. So I'm going to move this sand from our previous demonstration onto our new beach demonstration. Oh, let me see if I can move it. Might be kind of stuck. Got water in it. There we go. And now we're going to add some water with blue food coloring to represent our ocean water. There we go. Pour a little bit more. Now, we discovered in our last experiment. Now, as we look at our beach diagram here, think about an actual beach. What do you usually see happening? So think about where the water meets the sand. Hmm. Typically there are a bunch of waves, right? So now we're going to take our water and simulate some waves. So you can kind of use anything to simulate waves. I'm just going to use this jar here. So here are the waves crashing on the beach. And we've already discussed in our other experiment that sand is just broken down pieces of rock. So do you notice that these broken down pieces of rock are moving as the water hits the sand or the broken down pieces of rock? This phenomenon is called erosion. Erosion is the process that involves the movement of broken materials and it occurs when materials are removed from one place and moved to the other. You may have heard the word erosion when others talk about the beach, as our shorelines are constantly being changed by the ocean waves. Not only can erosion be caused by liquid water, such as ocean water, but it can also be caused by frozen water, such as glaciers, as they move, wind, and even gravity. Not only does erosion cause changes in our beaches, but it can also explain the formation of canyons and running, as running water moves pieces of materials from one place to another. What other examples of erosion can you think of? 